this is our before this our after this our before this our after hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel if you are new here in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i edit my instagram pictures i've gotten questions i'll not say a lot i'll not say beaucoup de questions uh there's a, a few questions on how i edit my instagram pictures and how i do my thumbnails okay how i edit the pictures i use for my thumb and if you are not following me on Instagram, please go and follow me on Instagram. It's Miss Sen. My Instagram and my YouTube name are the same. So yes, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I edit my pictures using just my mobile phone. And I'm going to be showing you everything on my phone. Everything I do on my phone, I'll put it on this side of the screen so you can follow me. So the first thing we are going to be doing is going to Play Store and downloading the app we are going to be using. So we are going to play store. Then what you are going to type in the search box is beauty plus. I have already downloaded my beauty plus, but the icon should be looking pink like that. There are a lot of beauty plus, so you have to download the right one. The icon will be looking pink like this. Since I've already downloaded mine, I'm going to tap open. Then my Beauty Plus app will open. So we'll be going to photo editor. Then I'm going to select the picture. So this is the picture we are going to be editing today. This is the picture. The first thing I'm going to be doing is blurring the background you see all this stuff in the background my essential oils for my hair my antiseptic my hand hand sanitizer juice my books all that we are going to blur out so i go to the two lines at the down that is the edit line then i'll go to go to blur now this is how the picture is looking blurred this is the before it was bled. This is after it was bled. Normally, I go for hexagon. You can also go for flare. I feel like flare doesn't really bled. Okay, flare doesn't really bled like the hexagon. So I'm going to go with the hexagon. You can increase the blurness or decrease how blur you want it. You can increase how blur you want it. You can decrease it. I'm going to keep it at 52. So before blurring, after blurring, then I'm going to take the correct mark to save it. The next thing I'm going to be doing is the makeup. I'll go to the makeup section. We have the lipstick. Okay. Now some of the lipstick shades, you will have to buy the premium app before you can use them. But who has time for buying premium apps? Okay, we are going to work with what we have. So I'll be going for red. This is very red. No, it doesn't look very natural. So I'm just going to keep it at 40. I'm going to keep it at 52. I think 52 is okay. Then I don't normally use the blush, but we we'll go to contour. The contour, we have different types of contour. Some is for premium, some is for the normal. I'm going to go with the normal. I'm going to go with glam. The glam contour. I don't know if you can see it, but before before the glam, after the glam. Okay. The next one we are going to be doing is the eyebrow. The eyebrow. We want to look. The key is making the picture look as natural as possible. Okay. We all know it's edited, but we just want to make it look as natural. We don't want the picture to look too cartoonish. So I'm going to go with a natural eyebrow. You can increase the thickness. Okay, I've increased the thickness. This is the before the eyebrow and this is after the eyebrow. I'm not going to keep it at 100. I'm going to shift it to 
71 i think 71 is okay it's natural enough so before before after before after the next thing you're going to do is the eyelashes see the diva the wings the sexy eyelashes we cannot use any of them because we are not using the premium we are just going to go for pure i like the pure eyelashes then eyeshadow a lot of them are for premium let's work with what we have okay let me go for royal the royal eyeshadow can you see the before this is the before this is the after Bef before after before after i'm going to decrease it a bit i don't want it to be too much yeah i'm going to keep it at 46 then the contacts we have different kinds of contacts we have gray pure good Pure grey, it's the pure grey is very nice, but we've not paid for it, okay? So we can't use it. Irish blue is nice, but we've not paid for it, so we can't use it. So we are just going to go with glacial blue. That one is free. You can increase it, you can decrease it, you can increase it, and you can decrease it. So I'm just going to keep it at 75. So before the eye, this is before the eye this is after the eye now the hair dye the hair dye um, i don't want to go for black okay i want to spice it up so i'm going to go for a nectarine yes i'm going to or should i go for caramel let's go for the caramel so yes then the last but not least the eye smiles i'm going to keep it at natural the eye smiles at natural so that is it that is it for the makeup section i'm going to take correct don't forget to take the correct to say what you have just done so this is what we have done so far it's already looking nice this is the before the before this before everything we just did now and this is after can you see the difference okay the next thing we are going to is the smooth one rule to keep in mind smooth is not your friend smooth is going to destroy the work that's just how simple i can put it make let the face be smooth but let it not be too smooth okay we we all know we don't have very smooth faces so you want to keep it natural smooth but natural <laughs> if you buy what i'm trying to say smooth but natural i think the 50 is too smooth for me so but this is the hundred for the smooth okay hundred before this one you see like dramatic change this is the before this is the after this is the before this is the after but it looks too cartoonish it doesn't look very natural looking and remember i said the key is to keep it natural and remember i said the key is to keep it natural so i'm going to keep it at mm, 42 42 is okay so this is the before the smoothening this is after it doesn't look too smooth that's what i like so that's what we are going to keep it at 42 I'm going to click the correct to save it. The next thing we are going to be doing is the dark circle. As you can see, there are some dark circles under my eye. I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to increase the dark circle to about 50. Okay. So this is the before. You can see the dark circles there in their glory. We love the dark circles, but you know they're going to this is the before for the dark circle and this is the after you can send it to 100 to be there now and the dark circles will totally disappear before now you can see it this is the before and this is the after the dark circles are totally gone but i'm going to keep it at 50 because i love my dark circles we love our dark circles okay so this before after before after I'm going to keep it at 50. 
Then the next thing we are going to be doing is whiten. Yes, whiten. As you can see, the eyes is a bit yellow. Okay, it's a bit yellow. So I'm going to decrease the size of my circle. Then I'm going to zoom in on the eyes. Then I'm going to paint the eye. Okay, I'm going to paint the eye. Then I'm going to move to the other eye. Paint it too. I'm going to paint it too. So for the eyes, this is this is the before. This is the before, this is the after. Before, after. Before, after. The eyes really makes a huge difference, okay? Before, after. Before, after. So that is it. I'm going to click the correct. Then, the next thing is resize. Resize. You can make your eyes bigger. Yes, it's weird, but you can make your eyes bigger. This is before, this is after. Can you see the difference? Before, after, before, after. But I don't want my eyes to be too big, so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to be keeping it at 32. Yes, 32 is okay. Um, the next thing we are going to be doing is something we call Afina. Afina. Okay, zooming in so you can see what we are doing. The afina it increase and decrease the size of your nose. So this is it. I sent it to hundred. This is before my before the afina. This is after the afina. Okay, it makes your your nose a bit slim. So that's the function of the afina. Before after before after. I'm going to be keeping it at 45. Mm. I'm keeping it at 44. Yes. I like it at 44. The next thing I'm going to be doing is contour. Okay. Contour is also one of the things that really makes the picture the picture. Okay. When we keep it at 100, before, after. Can you see the difference the contour is making? Before, after, before, after. But I don't want it too, too edited. So I'm going to be keeping it at 52. Yes, I'm going to be taking correct. Then the next thing is the head size. Okay. It's making your head smaller and it's making your head bigger. Making your head smaller, making your head bigger. I don't like it, so I, I'm not going to do the head. I'm not going to do the head. The next thing is, mm, there are other functions, okay, but you need to get a premium version if you want to get access to those functions. And we don't have premium version, so we are just going to go with what we have. The next thing is the smooth. Can you see the wonders the smooth is making? Okay, can make it very white, can make it very dark. You want to choose something that is close to your skin tone. Okay, so I'm going to go with this. Yes, I'm going to go with this. You can increase it, you can decrease it. I'm going to keep it at um, 34. I'm going to be keeping it at 34. So before the tone, after the tone before the tune after the tune so that's it and what next mm. let me see so we are going to go to the two lines at the down then you're going to go to the adjust button okay i feel like it's looking too orange it's looking too orange so i'm going to go to the color term here then I'm going to reduce the color temperature. You can reduce it very much. You can increase it. You can reduce it. You can increase it. 
this is the normal i'm going to reduce it a bit okay to reduce the orange i don't like it looking too orange so i'm going to reduce it to minus 11 this is the before this is the after before after so that's what i'm going to do the crop option you can crop your picture how you like you can zoom into your face to get only your face okay. you can zoom in into your face to get only your face let's do that let's zoom in so this is it the last thing you're going to be doing is adding the filter the three zeros down there you are going to click on it you are going to go to classic then I'm going to select ivory. Can you see? Tu peux le voir. Can you see it? Now it's too much. I think the filter is too much. So I'm going to reduce it a bit to 18. Before, after. Before, after. Okay. Let's reduce it a bit. 13. Before, after. Before, after. So yes. We are going to keep it like this again if you feel like you've done something that you want to undo the two arrows there you can just press it to undo anything you have on anything you did that you want to undo you can press the arrow at the left if you want to redo you can press the arrow at the right Now that we are done with our editing, I'm just going to click on the save button here and everything is saved. Okay, I'm just going to click on the save button and saved. So that's it for this video. This is our before, this is our after, this is our before, this is our after. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. I'll be posting this picture on my ID. So be sure to, to follow me on Instagram at Miss underscore Sally if you're not following me yet. And until the next video, thanks so much for watching and bye.